This is a breaking space eccentric news alert. SN1 has rapidly disassembled itself and it turns out it wasn't scheduled to do so. All right, I know a lot of you just clicked on this video so you could laugh in my face and be like, bro, this news is so 60 seconds ago, okay? Well, the joke's on you, but thanks for the click. The reason I decided to wait to release this video is so I could have answers for you guys. And just early this morning, we finally got them. I'm Kevy Kevy Kev Kev, and this is SpaceX in the News. On Friday night at 10 p.m., SN1 launched itself into the night sky. The Starship prototype was expected to perform its first static fire test this last weekend, but SpaceX first wanted to integrity test the propellant tanks by filling them with liquid nitrogen. Liquid nitrogen is super cold, which is why SN1 kind of looks like an industrial push pop. But after more than an hour of filling, the LN2 started to vent out the bottom. And just minutes later, the entire structure went airborne. But now we have confirmation from Elon Musk himself about what exactly went down to make the vessel go up. His first tweet, again, gave every indication that this wasn't a test of failure. The results surprised everyone, including him but he swiftly followed up with a hopeful tweet for the future and a possible fix to the issue, which also just so happens to be the fix to his situational depression. Oh, Elon, you're so silly. The guy can mean, even while staring in the face of Ruds. But the cause for the integrity failure had to do with the thrust puck and the point of its attachment to the lower locks bulkhead. The thrust puck is the reinforced structure that takes the brunt of the force when Raptor fires up and pushes against the rocket body. It seems the weld job that held the puck to the dome gave way, which explains why we saw venting coming out of the bottom of SN1. This, by the way, is Fail's rendering of SN2's current state, but don't get too excited. Elon also tweeted that they are stripping it down so they can test the pucking weld under pressure, first with water, then at cryo in the coming days before they even attempt any static fires of the vessel. The day before the explosion, or implosion, whichever way you want to look at it, Elon was in town performing some inspections, but he wasn't looking at SN1 in John's video here, he's looking over SN2, almost as if he was already over his relationship with SN1 and ready for that SN2 rebound. What can I say? The guy's got game. I mean, he's on his game. Elon couldn't have really expected much out of his first Starship because just last week he tweeted that his engineers used the wrong settings on the welding machines. Well, that wraps up this special little episode. What do you guys think about all this? It's pretty exciting stuff, huh? You get to watch problem solving at its finest. You all have a lovely week, and I'll see you right back here on Friday for our next sode of SpaceX in the news, and possibly the CRS-20 launch as well. Until that time, Godspeed.